Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the difference between exploring Italian cities at night versus exploring during the day. This is something uh, that most tourists are going to pretty commonly do when they first land in a new country. Uh, but each one kind of presents its own dangers depending on the city and depending on where you actually go uh, in the country, like Italy, for example. Now, as I've always said in my videos, if you go to a new country like Italy, for example, you should definitely go out and explore and go to the places that aren't touristic and go to the places where you don't see everybody going. Now, this is wonderful and it's absolutely the best way to experience any country that you travel to for the first time. Uh, but of course, if you are doing this uh, during the day or during the night, uh, it does carry certain possible dangers. Uh, and of course, the first ones uh, that everybody knows about is that there are, are going to be uh, pickpockets that are always going to be sort of uh, looking out for foreigners and looking for people who kind of stand out and don't really mix in with the uh, crowd, uh, with the uh, native people, if you will. So there's of course pickpockets and then there's of course scams. Uh, in other words, getting stood up. So if they see somebody who kind of stands out like a sore thumb and they are obviously not from the country, uh, then they are going to target that person and try to scam them out of money. Uh, this usually involves being uh, distracted somehow. It's usually a team of two or three uh, people and uh, they will have one person uh, sneak up behind you trying to steal money while the other person is uh, distracting you with something. Uh, so a very common example of this is a flower scam where they will have, uh, for instance, a small child who is trying to sell flowers to people. So she will approach you and try to sell you flowers. And of course, the partner in crime is going to be behind you uh, trying to steal your wallet while this uh, little girl has you distracted. So I have already sort of touched upon uh, why this happens and how it happens and all that kind of thing, but now let's talk about how you can actually prevent it. Now the best way to prevent somebody targeting you for a scam or targeting you as somebody to pickpocket is of course to uh, not present yourself as a target and not present yourself as an easy target especially. And of course the best way to do this, uh, like I mentioned earlier, is to not stand out like a sore thumb. So of course how does somebody not stand out like a sore thumb when they're in a foreign country? Well of course you have to look like the locals. Uh, and the best way to do that uh, certainly is to change the way you're dressing and um, change basically everything you're doing um, that looks foreign, uh, that looks like you're from some other country and try to copy and emulate the locals as best as possible. So um, of course this is going to be the first way that you can prevent it. Uh, now obviously uh, if, you are from, um, if you are from America for example, it's going to be very difficult to actually mask the fact that you are from America. Um, so in these cases, I would definitely recommend that you look into other security measures. Uh, in other words, ways to secure what these people are trying to steal. Uh, so I would certainly recommend keeping your wallet in your front pocket. Um, and also, uh, putting locks on your bags and all the zippers on your backpacks and that kind of thing. And what you see a lot of tourists in uh, pretty much every country uh, commonly do is they will carry their backpack on the front of their body. And of course this makes it uh, much easier for them to keep an eye on their things and uh, make it more difficult for pickpockets to steal out of their backpack. Okay, now those are the hazards that you will uh, pretty much have to worry about during the day as a tourist who stands out like a sore thumb. Uh, now, the only real sort of danger and most common danger that you will face as a foreigner during the night is uh, definitely getting stood up. Now, what I mean by getting stood up is that you will be uh, walking down some sort of dark alley or uh, basically anywhere that's in a dark sort of uh, not well lit place uh, where there's not many people around and you're going to be um, approached by some people who typically are going to pull out a weapon or they're going to threaten you somehow. Uh, most commonly in Italy, for example, it is going to be a knife. Now, a knife is actually going to be much more uh, dangerous than a gun, especially in these uh, close quarters situations. And so the best uh, way that you can handle this situation and the best way I recommend that you do so is to actually carry a fake wallet with you. Now, this means that you only put about 10 to $15 in the wallet. You um, 
you can put some fake credit cards or some credit cards that don't have any money in them but you want to make it uh, somewhat believable so that when this happens to you whether you are forced to walk down some sort of uh, dark alley or you're choosing to do so by choice to explore and whatnot uh, you are ready for that situation this isn't common especially not in uh, the northern um, Italian cities uh, but in the southern cities like uh, Naples and you know, those kind of places it can happen so all you have to do is you hand them this fake wallet they're gonna see that there's only um, uh, 10 to 15 dollars in there and you can walk away and you will be unharmed and they're gonna leave with your money and everybody's happy Alright guys, so in conclusion, uh, if you are going to travel to a foreign country, uh, you should of course go out and explore uh, everywhere as much as you can during the day and during the night. Uh, because of course this is the way that you are going to get the most out of your trip. Uh, but use these tips to your advantage to stay safe when you go over there. And I sure do hope that there were some tips here that uh, you think you would find useful. And if you did like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps me out. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you very much for watching. Take care.